Hello everybody and welcome inside Isotopes Park. We are actually inside Oscar's car. This is a 1963 Impala. Josh Sushan alongside Drew Weeks want to welcome you to the latest Mariachis game. The theme is Lowrider Night. So we decided to do tonight's interview inside this car. Drew, is this the most unique place that you've ever done an interview? Oh, 100%, 100%. This oh, is the classiest place I've ever done an interview as well. What do you think of all the different cars that are out here around the ballpark? Um, this is, I, I love it. I love it. I've been to car shows. I've seen them before. I've never stuck my head inside one. I've never, uh, I've definitely never been in one. Uh, and it's kind of, it's more than I expected. I love it. I love it. It kind of makes me want to go get one. Maybe cruising around town for the day. All right, so we're going to do now an interview within an interview. We're going to interview Drew for tonight's Bank of the West on Deck show. And so here we go in three, two, one. Back here inside Isotopes Park, game two of this four game series. The Round Rock Express in town taking on the Isotopes. We continue with the Bank of the West on Deck show. We're joined now by outfielder Drew Weeks. Well, Drew, we are on radio, so the audience that is listening to this does not know where we are. Can you tell them where we are doing this interview? We are inside of a 1963 Impala Lowrider on the morning track of the Albuquerque Isotope Stadium. This is the most unique place I've ever done an interview. Uh, it's got like this red interior. It's like these nice felt. What's all these felt? These yeah. nice felt uh, seats. It's nice. I'm enjoying it. It's the comfiest interview I've ever done as well. Maybe we should make this a regular feature for the Bank of the West on Deck show. For um. For the fans who have come out to these mariachi games, they love them. You've played in a bunch of them. What is it like for you and your teammates to play these games? I, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I love, I wish this team was called the mariachis because it's so native to New Mexico. You know what I mean? That would be like coming to Jacksonville and being the Sharks or something that is extremely, like, 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 extremely well-cultured within a city. You know what I mean? Because this is New Mexico. This is... I think the only professional team they have here besides the soccer team is people. They they love they love the mariachis, um, and I love when the, when they come out and they dance right there on the morning track. Um, it's, this is my this is my favorite night. I look forward to these games. I really really do. It feels like the team plays its best. You, are you feeding off the energy of the crowd, or what's the mood like in the clubhouse and the dugout on these nights? Of course, you always play well for twenty thousand people. Um, I think yeah, I think. Especially like later in the year, you get a little tired. Everything kind of seems repetitive. But when there's like that extra, it's almost like you're playing for Team USA. It's like you're representing your country. You're representing your this community, you know. And you want to show out for them. You want, you want to win. You want to happy fans. I mean, like you, like I want people cheering for me when I go out to write. So I'm gonna try to do something cool that they cheer for. And the more we do as a team, the more likely we are to win. Uh, you love seeing people like a happy fan, you know? This is the Bank of the West on Deck show. We're visiting with Isotopes outfielder Drew Weeks. Well, you've been making the fans cheer for you quite a bit. Now, I want to go back to right before, right after the All-Star break, Yonder Alonso joined us. I remember you hit two home runs in the first game, and you said, I really want to watch him closely. I'm really glad that he's on the team. What did you notice, and what type of advice did he give you? He actually helped me out a lot. He said, uh, uh, he said I was getting started late, which, I mean, I kind of knew. But since every pitcher is different, you didn't, I never really understood how to time up kind of each and every pitcher because they throw hard, some throw soft. Some have longer windups, some don't. So I kind of, we kind of came up with like a focal point, like like a, like a, something every pitcher does. And to, and to start my rhythm with, as soon as he breaks his hands, like as soon as he's coming down breaking his hands, that's kind of a starting point for me. And if I'm late, I, I, I can I can get back to that. You know what I mean? Like it's not just like okay, I, I think I need to start right now, so I, so I can see. Even if I get lucky and get away with a hit, I can I can go back and check and be like, okay, I started late right here. Here's what I need to do to be better. So and he helped me out so incredibly much. That and my my kind of mental approach, he helped me. Out. He, uh, and obviously, I mean, I've, I've made leaps and bounds since he's helped me. I want to credit everything I've done. Final question. So much ups and downs in baseball. Now that you've found this, this formula, what do you do? I always feel like there's so much unlocked potential. What do you do to maintain the consistency? Yeah. I think kind of just relax. Well, I know when I play under pressure, uh, I, I tend to, to push and press. 
and I don't do as well as if I'm relaxed and kind of just having fun. So, um, and actually, you know, I, I pray a lot about that, and I say, you know, whatever happens, keep me relaxed. Let me be at peace. Let me understand that everything happens for a reason. So, knowing that, and then the whole thing with yonder, as long as I'm prepared to do my preparation and my routine before the game, I should, I should be more than fine. You're being very fine lately. Stay relaxed. Keep having fun. Thanks for your time. Thank you. More to get you on the Bank of the West on Deck show. When we come back, we'll go inside the Rockies. This is Isotopes Baseball on 95.9 FM and AM 610, the Sports Channel. All right, so that's the way it's going to sound on radio tonight. One last question, though, for those of for our audience who's watching on social media. Just overall, if you want to look into the camera and let the fans know what it has meant to you and your teammates, the crowd support that they've given you this year. Albuquerque is the best stadium I've ever played at. Fan-wise, they always cheer for me. I want to thank everyone for the love and support they've given me in the outfield each and every single night. Doesn't matter win or lose the night before, y'all always bring an electric energy that keeps me going every single night, and I cannot thank you enough for it. Thank you, Drew. Thanks to Oscar for letting us uh, use his car. Thank you, Oscar. We love your car. Best interview ever.